Hi there, I'm Alexander Turnbull from Nave Paris Nazarans. Today I'm going to do some styling with you and I'm going to show you this wig. This is Alexandra. Okay, and Alexandra today is in Melted Plum. So let me first go into this colour. Melted Plum is just gorgeous. You know, look at that. It's like a deep plummy shade going into this gorgeous kind of melted out into these lovely white ends. And this is Alexandra from the Alexander Couture Collection. This is look number one, okay, which is out the box. Look number one, out of the box, ready to go, beautiful curl pattern, needs no work whatsoever. So that's look number one. What I'm going to do with look number two is I'm going to brush the curl pattern out, okay, and I'm just going to brush her into a lovely wave and then I'm going to take it across to the side. So what I'm trying to do is just, because this style can be worn many different ways, different curl patterns. Um, so I'm just, for me, I'm just going to brush it out and then we'll go with uh, something nice and simple but effective. Do you see that colour? See how that kind of, when you brush that curl pattern through, kind of shatters through and I'm just using the Rene of Paris wire brush. You know, very lovely tool gets through the wigs perfectly and we've designed these brushes so you know they don't damage hair don't damage the fibers they're perfect so look at that it's like a different again that color's just really popped out just like this look just with a hair tie i'm just going to put this through so i'm just going to leave this little piece of hair out the front okay i'm just going to show you how this looks in the back okay so what i'm doing so i'm coming in with the hair tie, okay, and I'm just going in once, twice, and then three times that hair tie. So we have this like this, okay, and then I'm just gonna move this over the shoulder. So then we have all of this lovely texture. And then just with this piece of hair from the side, I'm going to take that piece of hair and I'm going to wrap that round the band. So you see, so we get that lovely bit of detail from the colour. So the colour actually looks, can you see that colour just makes it look really quite white around the band. So we just get this nice kind of sidewood effect very effective and really simple so i've just got a couple of bobby pins here and i'm just going to put one bobby pin in here i'm just going to lose that a little bit i've got these two lovely little uh little band little like diamante pieces so i've got two i don't know if i'm going to use two or just one so i'll start with the one and i'll see how that looks and just a little bit of detail just makes a really nice finish. See how that just finishes in there? Yeah, and I think I'll probably use, I think I'll use both actually. I think I'll use both to give us a just maximum effect for the look number two. Look number two is just a, a glamorous Hollywood sideward ponytail. And how nice does that look as a bit of detail? You know, just looks really gorgeous, lovely silhouette. Works beautifully with the bangs. Uh, this colour here, as I said, is melted plum. So that just turns, you know, really pops out. And that just gives you that lovely finish. And that is only a side of the ponytail. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm now gonna move into look number three. First off, what I want to do, is I just want to get one high ponytail, okay? Remember, I don't want to go too tight with the ponytail because we want the hairline at the back of the neckline to look very natural. So, I am, um, although I'm brushing it up, I'm also then bringing this down. The first thing I'm going to do is just get the first hair tie, which is a firm black hair tie. So, this is like a firm black elastic but it is designed for hair and fibre, so it won't damage hair and fibre. 
and just going to double this pony around and then what I do, take all those ends out and then feel, is the double enough? Is the double going to be secure enough? Well, for me, I think it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to walk around and pull this like this, pull this like this, make sure that the neckline is very natural. So just pull the hair out, pull the hair out. Nothing too tight. I'm going to take some smaller bands, smaller bands, so one, and bend that over. So these are the ones of the, the clear, small clear hair ties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this round like this. Watch, watch, watch. I open this up. So open that first bit up and then tuck this first piece of hair through. Okay, so let me show you that again. So, okay, so you can take this like this. Okay, let's try it the other way as well. So see which way you like the most and then do it like this. So you get that detail. And you can do it the other way, you can do it the other way, and then you get that same effect, but from underneath. So it gives you a slight different thing. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to pull this out of the way, okay? To give you that nice, messy texture. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is the next piece, and I'm again opening that pony up. Open the pony up, open the pony and tuck it through and then again we get this kind of effect so then push this out with your fingers okay so what we're doing is we're pulling this out so you see we're getting all of this wonderful kind of detail in there already and then we've got one more band so we open that up pop this through and then again we're getting all of this nice kind of messy detail, but not a mess. Gonna gather this up, because that has all our detail in it. And we're going to put a bobby pin underneath there, underneath the ponies. And we'll cross that one over there, so it gives it just that nice bit of security. And then what we're gonna do is simply with all that detail, you then put this up on top of the head and arrange it. Because all of that lovely texture work, you've already done, because you already did it when it was in the pony. So a lot of people like, oh, I really struggle with these nice, big, full, kind of messy styles. You can get that texture in there before you started. So I've got some firm pins and some smaller pins. So first, I'm gonna take a firm pin and I'm gonna, Put that into the middle and then down and into the base. So now what we need to do is start securing it, balancing it. And when I say balance, I mean, you know, like what I'm doing now, making this, making the texture a little bit bigger, making sure it looks cool from all angles. So that now, ladies and gents, isn't going anywhere. This is a gorgeous kind of scruffy, cool little up style. Um, and a little thing with Alexandra, which is a really neat little design technique that we put in. I actually gave Alexandra a lace front. So if you wanted, you could take that up off the face um, or you could wear it over. Um, you could even put, you know, put this in on the side. I mean, I have these things, which I used on look number two. I and mean, you could even come in with a nice side with slide. I think for me, I quite like seeing her with the bangs, you know? I think the bangs look great. But if you wanted, you can take that straight off your face. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Alexander Turnbull from Air Paris and Adirans. Today, I've been styling Alexandra, and I've been styling Alexandra in Melted Plum. I've styled Alexandra three different ways, out the box, ready to go. A uh, bit of a Hollywood wave onto a side with pony, and a party, a party bun, party of style, which just looks really cool with that little bit of detail finished off in there. So, which style did you like the most? Number one, two or three? Which one would you try at home? It'd be great to get your comments. And for now, thank you for tuning in. I'm Alexander. I'm from Nea of Paris Nadarans. And remember, as always, follow us on all forms of social media. 
We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.